Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. I hope you're following the channel, and if you are, you know this is the third plane that I've checked out in the new series I'm working on in partnership with FMS, and that is on beginner RC airplanes. This is the 1280 millimeter Easy Trainer, and this video is the first look. Before I get into the content, I do need to let you know this video is sponsored by FMS who sent me the Easy Trainer for review. This plane fits in a series I'm working on with FMS on beginner RC planes. FMS has also sent me a number of aircraft accessories and at the end of the video, I'll give you a look at one of those as well. Make sure you check out the links in the description of this video for information on the beginner series on the FMS website where they also have a big sale going on. There's also a link in there for a sweepstakes entry for more prizes and FMS has asked me to ask you if you'd be willing to fill out a model survey so they can gain information on what consumers think about model airplanes, specifically beginner models. And of course, I'll have affiliate links in the description. So if you'd like to buy anything you see on this video, use the affiliate links and the channel gets a little bit of a kickback, but don't worry, it doesn't cost you anything extra. That extra expense is paid by FMS. Let's get into the first look on the Easy Trainer. I gotta tell you guys, in all my years of flying, this format of airplane is the one I've had repeat copies of the most. The high mounted motor, the high mounted wings, and a low budget airframe that is a good test platform if you wanna mess around with things like gyros, flight computers, iNav, whatever. They're readily available, fairly easy to assemble, and they have a lot of room inside to experiment with different electronics. We'll open up the canopy, and I'll show you the interior of this one first. This one's kind of a rough end. They left the Reflex V2 gyro uninstalled. It's connected and wired, but it's not mounted anywhere. Part of the reason for that is because you have a lot of different options the way you lay things out. They've also got a 20 amp Predator ESC and all the wiring is in place to connect your radio and get it up and running. You just have to do a little bit of wire management and get that gyro mounted where you want it. They recommend a 1300 two cell battery on this. And I can tell you on this format plane, quite often I've flown with three cell 2200s and even three cell 5000s in airframes like this. The motor is fairly small. It's a 2212, 2650 KV, which explains the two cell. And as far as the prop goes, I can't find a marking on it. I know it's supposed to be on this side, but I believe that's probably about a 6.5 or a 6.4 prop, which makes sense on a smaller motor like this. The graphics on the side are nice and crisp. I like the red, white, and black. It does say easy trainer on the side. And I suppose if you wanted to get rid of the trainer part, you could probably take a razor knife and just cut that one off. The motor's already installed, the props installed, the servos are all installed, and the rudder is even connected with the fuel tubing over the clevis in place. So all you have to do is install the horizontal stabilizer, glue it in place, and then connect it to the rudder, and you'll be ready to go in terms of control surfaces. The wings slide right into this gap and the wires for the wings slide right down and top. And when I first unboxed the model, one of the things I found that I liked a lot is they use pins to affix the wings to the fuselage. So that way it doesn't have to be a permanent install. Theoretically, those pins can come out. I don't know how easy that is yet. I'll take a look at it when I do the assembly, but suffice it to say that they did think about the concept of disassembly and I gotta give them credit for that. Here's a look at the port wing. The leading edge is straight. Again, graphics nicely applied, just about right as far as I'm concerned. Not too much, not too little, just a nice pop of contrast. You do have EPO hinges on the ailerons, no flaps on this one. So keep in mind, when you first set this one up, not a bad idea to disconnect the clevis and exercise that hinge and free it up a little bit so the servo doesn't have to work as hard. They use a single three by one millimeter spar on this one, and that slides into a couple plastic captures. And then notice the wires are, and servo are covered by beauty tape on the bottom. The servo extension for the aileron is taped in and ready for you to assemble the plane. Very convenient. Everything looks just fine to me. Here's a look at the starboard wing. The leading edge is very straight, no problems there. Graphics look beautiful. Aileron, EPO hinge again, don't forget, flex your surfaces. And then on the bottom, everything again, already connected with a little pop of contrast right here out on the wing's edge. Same situation with the servo and the beauty tape. Everything is really just ready to go. So very good job by FMS making the assembly very easy for the pilot on this one. Horizontal stabilizer is perfectly straight. We'll take a look down the leading edge. Let's see if I can get that on a white background for you. There you go, nice and straight. EPO hinge there as well. No torque tube on this and you do have to insert the control horn and remember, this one is a glue in. You don't screw this one in. This does have to be glued. 
The manual is typical for FMS, it's black and white, and this one has instructions in English and in a couple of other languages. We've got German, I see French, and I think Chinese in the back. Yes, Chinese in the back. So a couple of different languages and just a minimal amount of information to get this one up and running just because there's really not much to do in terms of the manual. They do give you a little information about your receiver diagram and a little bit of information about the ESC, but as far as the assembly itself goes, it's like one page of information just because there's not much to do. In addition to the manual, there's a small addendum for the Reflex V2 gyro. I do like the Reflex V2 gyros. If you've never used one, they come pre-programmed by FMS and they really only have three states. You've got off, stabilize and auto level, that's it. And they're already, like I said, pre-programmed by FMS. So you really don't have to do anything. You just plug your receiver in and it should be ready to go out of the box. If you've been following the FMS beginner series, you already know what that means, right? Right? If you're not watching the videos, you might wanna go back and check out the other ones. At the beginning of the video, I mentioned that FMS had sent me some accessories for model airplanes, and I wanted to show you this one. This one I liked a lot more than I thought I would, and it's an airplane stand. It's a very simple scissor mechanism. It's got a hand nut on the top. You simply loosen that, and there's this really solid interlocking mechanism, so as you get the width you want at the top of the airplane stand, it'll lock into place, and then you simply screw down that hand nut, and it is definitely locked in place. The scissors are not gonna go anywhere. It will definitely not move. And then you simply set that down on your work surface and put your plane up top in the cradle and off you go, you can work on your plane. Very convenient device. I like them a lot and it does look like it's fairly well made. It's aluminum and I believe it's anodized. I really like the red color on this one. And then when you're done, you simply loosen the hand nut a little bit and you can fold it up and it gets really skinny for storage. It just takes up very little space. That wraps up my first look on the FMS Easy Trainer V2. If you like this kind of content, make sure you smash that thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you know new videos hit the channel. Thanks again to FMS for sending this Easy Trainer out for review. I'll get this one put together and at the field for a maiden just as soon as possible. YouTube should recommend another video for you right about now. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy and go fly something.